All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Phantom Weather Channel. In today's video, we are talking about severe thunderstorms possible up north across Wisconsin and upper Michigan and down south across Arizona. If you guys do find this video helpful, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on, and also be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want other people to see this as well. Let's get down to business. First off, we're looking at our SPC outlook for today. We have a broad marginal risk of severe weather from Kansas and eastern Colorado all the way into the UP of Michigan here. But it really looks like the best chance to get isolated, strong, and severe storms will be across northern Wisconsin and upper Michigan. So that's going to be the area that we're focusing on for the first part of today's video. And in the desert southwest, we have a slight risk of severe weather across primarily central Arizona. This does include uh, the Phoenix area here. This is south of Tucson. And this region here could see some isolated to scattered thunderstorms with some really significant moisture across southern California and western Arizona. And those storms could have some very strong wind gusts associated with them, possibly in excess of 75 miles per hour, as you can see by this black hatch region across parts of Arizona. And isolated damaging winds are also possible from eastern Colorado into upper Michigan. There is also the possibility to get maybe a couple of instances of large hail here and there from the plains into upper Michigan and also Arizona as well. So first, let's see what's driving this event. We're speeding this up to 1 p.m. Eastern time this afternoon. You can see that we have a trough across portions of southern Canada here, and this is starting to dig into the upper Midwest. With all of this strong mid-level flow, uh, we are going to see an increase in wind shear across the, uh, the upper Midwest and the northern Great Lakes here as this trough slides off to the east today, and that is going to help organize these storms and help them become severe. There's also going to be a lot of moisture and instability building up across Wisconsin and upper Michigan, which will help to aid the threat further. We're going to zoom into upper Michigan here, reason being because this gives us the best zoom on northern Wisconsin and western upper Michigan as well, which again is where I think the best chances are to get severe thunderstorms later on this evening into the overnight hours. So we're actually speeding this up until 8 p.m. because I don't think we're going to see a lot of meaningful convection throughout the day across these areas. It's not going to be until later in the evening that I think that we see this. And we're going to have dew points in the upper 50s to low 60s across the UP of Michigan into Wisconsin here. Not super high moisture, but you'll definitely notice it's a little bit muggy out there. And the more muggy the air feels, the more energy is being provided to the atmosphere. That's going to help stuff get unstable, and it's going to help increase the potential for severe thunderstorms. Now, by 8 p.m. Eastern Time this evening, we are going to have some strong to severe storms west of Marquette, likely south of Houghton in western upper Michigan here. As we get every hour along, you'll notice these storms increasing in coverage, not so much intensity, but increasing in coverage for sure, with the most of the activity actually staying in Lake Superior as we get towards the 10 or 11 p.m. hour when these storms will be approaching the Marquette area. And then they will eventually move off to the southeast. They will get near Escanaba as we get towards 1 or 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. But at that point, the storm should really be winding down in intensity due to the loss of daytime heating and the lack of continued instability. What we're going to do now is switch views and take a look at what's going on in Arizona because there's also the potential for some significant severe thunderstorms down there. So as we get towards, uh, this would be the 2 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Uh, mountain time hour, we are going to have dew points in the low to upper 60s across southwestern Arizona, southeastern California here, with locally higher dew points in the 70s, even in the 80s across southern California. This very favorable, rich moisture being fed in from the Pacific Ocean and western uh, Mexico is really going to help aid the potential for some strong storms today. These steep lapse rates and strong instability is going to help the thunderstorm process long. And even though the moisture is less across areas like Phoenix, you still have dew points around 60 degrees, and that's also going to be quite muggy. Now, looking at our instability, you can see that where the higher dew points were and where the brighter colors are on the screen, that's where we have stronger instability. And that's primarily across western Arizona and southern uh, California, where the strongest instability is building up. Now, as we get towards the 2 p.m. hour, we are going to see some isolated thunderstorms across central Arizona. Even though they are isolated, these storms can be very intense uh, with very strong wind gusts, heavy rain, and isolated damaging, uh, isolated large hail as well. As we get every hour along, you'll notice that these storms will get towards Phoenix as we get towards the 6 p.m. hour, but then they really drop off in coverage as we get towards 8 p.m., again, likely due to that loss of daytime heating. But these storms that do bubble up in the afternoon 
afternoon and early evening across Arizona, and maybe even southern uh, Nevada, Las Vegas, southeastern California. Any storms that do decide to pop up in those regions could be very severe. And the reason I say very severe is because these storms could have wind gusts in excess of 75 miles per hour, but it's going to be localized. It's going to be very spotty. This area Arizona and Phoenix has not seen a slight risk of severe weather since about this time last year, October 5th, 2021. So it's been a while since we've seen the potential for severe weather this high across an area like Arizona. Does that mean everybody's going to see a severe thunderstorm? No, but it is possible to get some isolated activity here and there. And of course, the folks that live out here, you guys know uh, that, the, that the flash flooding threat's much higher out here as well with all these debris flows. So keep an eye on that for sure as well in localized spots. But guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more of them, be sure to subscribe with, to the channel with notifications turned on. Also, be sure to drop a like on the video if you guys want other people to get this information as well. But until the next video or live stream, stay safe. I will talk to you guys back here next time.